Hello, everybody! Welcome to this special edition of the Geek Talk Podcast, because there's more than just three of us today. <gasps> and the Texans and Bengals have kicked off. Tune into ESPN now. Da-da-dun! Da-da-dun! Sports ball. We don't watch it. I do. I watch all the sports magic. You jock. As you can <laughs> hey, tell, it, hey, is, it, hey. is, it is I, Sean, <laughs> your loyal host. All hail the Sean. Sean. <laughs> Must obey. Must obey. The jerk talking is the co-host, <laughs> Alan. Hi, everyone. How you doing? Hi, jerk. <laughs> we hey, have, jackass. We have the <laughs> lovely Candace. Hello. And you know, guys, we have a special guest. Special. Now, our special guest is able to join us because he is one of our $10 Patreon supporters. Woo-hoo. That means if, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. If you want to get on to talk about random stuff like we normally talk about, or to take us hostage and you know make us watch Tommy Wiseau's The Room, is that what happened when I was gone? Yes, we had to watch The Room. <laughs> oh God! And it wasn't the Rift Tracks version. You, you, you know what? <laughs> You're Tell tearing you what. me apart, Lisa. The next person who comes on and makes us watch something cool like Breaking Bad or Parks and Rec, you you'll get free points with me. I'll make you watch Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Uh, I'm out. Oh, you're missing. <laughs> but we have Owen Slaughter. Say hello, Owen. Hi, guys. <laughs> now, here's what's cool. Owen is our $10 Patreon supporter. Plus, I've, kn- I've known Owen for many years. That is true. That is true. We, um, we actually were co-hosts of another uh podcast uh way back in the day um uh, back called, where dinosaurs ruled the earth yeah of the, uh, the, wall. Was the back in nam <laughs> yes was the autobot city podcast uh i believe it was wasn't yeah, it yeah the swedish knockoff yeah of the, moon base the swedish knockoff of the moon base um but owen yes yes sir what do you do yeah, smoke Tell lots us. and lots of crack. But other than that, um, <laughs> oh, just like Sean here. Yeah. No, 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 no. I well, buy lots and lots of plastic so crack. All right, it's, it's not really crack. It's meth- methamphetamine. I'm from the Midwest, so you know. Anyways, but uh, I actually am a freelance writer. Um, right now, I am working on a uh, secret project of a comic book, as well as I'm per- uh, participating in the uh, National Novel Writings Month. Which hopefully, if I can get uh, it polished off and um, cleaned up and whatnot, uh, I can hopefully try to get it published as well. So, you know, here's hoping. Here's hoping. Yes. Yeah. But, Owen, have you listened to the podcast before? Um, y- you know, uh, your answer is yes. On. I'll answer this for you. <laughs> say yes. <laughs> say yes, I, I have. I would say, um, so I have. Sober, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, well. Hey, what? I I have I have listened to it, technically. So I have a question for you: Is there some sort of drinking game? Oh, actually, n- n- no, because well, we don't. Well, I mean, the, the drinking game is usually um, whenever Sean starts talking, I, I keep drinking until he stops. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I've gone. I have gone through about five livers now. So, and the, working on number six, and the seventh one is on pre-order. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. The seventh call. one is free. He goes for six. He gets the seventh free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only problem is that seventh one is from you know Donald Trump. You know what? It's a Trump. beautiful liver. It's encrusted in gold. It's beautiful. It has never <laughs> failed. Ever. And it is made here in the United States of America. <laughs> well, if you check the tagline, it says made in Taiwan. <laughs> so It's made in U.S. with Chinese parts. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's assembled over there, but they created the software here. Yeah. But, Owen, we just talk about random bullshit. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I've, I've gathered. I've gathered. Now, Did see, you? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. See, see, Alan, Alan is our, <laughs> our tech guy. 
but the problem is, last time I had him test the you know the tasers, he he's now you know sterile. <laughs> That's half true. I can neither confirm or deny. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I lost my words there. <laughs> I can neither confirm or deny these accusations which have been yeah. here for, for, for to me today. So one of the things I wanted to talk about is something that will be starting up on Thursday. Halo 6. No. Halo 7. No. <laughs> Windows 10. It's a show on uh, Netflix. Oh, you're talking about that one where Nazi took over the world? No, that's your dreams. <laughs> no, no, no that, um, that's an actual TV show. I do want to no, watch that. That was on Amazon that's Prime. That's the Amazon. That's the, yeah. a, that's the Amazon. I'm talking about I'm, just... I'm also very much wanting to see that. Cause... It, it... I've, I've actually already got the book on my uh, wish list. But the movie, the, sorry, the series you're talking about is the next Marvel Netflix original series. Yeah, Jessica Jones. Yes. Ooh. And it lo- from what the trailers have shown... It's really got me into it. They're even. They they even have Luke Cage in it. Do they? Yes, yes Luke they Cage. Do. You're right. That's Luke Cage. Holy crap! Yeah. So, because th- this one is leading into the, I think it's a one shot series, the Defenders, which will be mm-hmm. Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Yeah. Uh, as well but as the, uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Yeah. But which the, one... the, the real question is: Is this going to be? Before there were Heroes for Hire, or after there were Heroes for Hire? Uh, the Defenders is sent from what I've what I've been reading and whatnot. Um, the Defenders is essentially going to be the Heroes for Hire, but they are just taking the name the Defenders and and it's taking over the concept of uh, Heroes for Hire. See, they're, they're having to like to do all these reworks and stuff like that because they don't have you know they can't use the term mutant anymore. Yeah, in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and TV universe, they can't use the term mutants. We're getting the Inhumans, but seeing everything that's happening in Agents of Shield, that's going to lead up to the third Captain America movie, which Mm -hmm. will lead up to the Inhumans movie, which would lead up to me just forking over my wallet to Marvel and saying, (laughs) "Just fuck me in the ass now." (laughs) I thought Um, you already did that. No, that was you last night. <laughs> but and but no, one. and uh, no, all seriousness, I, 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 this is something I've actually, I actually have been following um, and whatnot, and I'm really kind of interested in the direction that they're going with the show uh, due to the fact that they are going with the darker uh, Jessica Jones story arcs. And I'm, I'm quite impressed that, the, the, um, that they're going with that. I mean... Then again, it's Netflix, and they can do what they want. So yeah, I mean, and here's your list of characters: Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones, and if you don't know who she is, um, Breaking Bad season one, she was uh, the girlfriend of Jesse that Walter just watched OD in the bed. Just let her oh, die. yeah, not Jesse, oh. Walter, yeah. Oh, yeah, her. Yeah. I'm excited because, you know, I do, have to, I do have to say one thing. Her performance in Breaking Bad was fantastic. I loved it. It was great. Um, I'm excited to see what else she does. You have Mike Coulter as Luke Cage. Um, I don't know if I know where I've seen him before. Um, let, me, let, me, let me click his Wikipedia and see what I've seen him in before. Uh, okay, here's some here's some of the things he's been in: Million Dollar Baby, Brooklyn Lobster, Silver Bells, and then came Love, Solving Charlie, Taking Chance, Salt, which was actually a lot of people give grief to that, but I actually kind of like that movie. I never watched Salt. I know that it was on Netflix for a bit. He was Men in Black playing. Okay, now I recognize the face. Wait, 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 wait. Who are we talking about? He was in Men in Black 3. He played Colonel James Dar- Dar- uh, Daryl <laughs> Edwards Jr., Jay's father, in, in uh, Men in Black 3. Uh, once again, I've, I've been sober since then, so I, I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Now, now you got it. Rachel, yeah. Rachel Tyler, 
Taylor as Trish, Trish Patsy Walker, Carrie Ann Moss as Jerry Ho- Hogarth, and finally, David Tennant. David Tennant as Kilgrave, who is also known as the, the Purple Lu- Man. The Purple Man, and he is like like Owen said, he is going to be it. It's going to be dark, really oh. dark. Well, you know, you, you have to understand, um, you know, with uh, the Purple Man, he was kind of a useless uh, uh, daredevil villain. His, his whole thing was that, you know, he made you want to do things for him. So it wasn't really mind control. He just he made you want to do these things. But um, Sean, you're going to shut up. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> sorry, but, I had to. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so then. What they did in the comics uh, was Jessica Jones had an encounter with him, and it, it really just screwed with her life. I'm not, I'm not sure how many how much of a you know spoiler or spoiler warning you guys want. So I'm just spoiler you know, warning. I'm just I'm just I'm just <laughs> leaving ahead. it to that. Go ahead, go ahead. But no, one of the things that he would actually. This was um, in the comics. This is going to be in the comics. So I don't know if it's going to be really in the series itself. Well, but one of the things he did to her in the comics is basically made her want him sexually, but he would not touch her, and it would drive her crazy. He would have her have sex with other women and other men, but not touch him. Yeah, and uh, that's that's what I was alluding to and not saying, but... Hey, we can... Hey. Yeah. Hey. We're, we're going to give this to people that really will understand it's like, the comic. It's like... Yeah. Eh, it's like, the spoiler warnings, what's that? Hey. Eh. <laughs> um, another... Over the comics. A guest that's going to be... It, uh, in the series, uh, she's a nurse from Hell's Kitchen. Uh, name, the character's name is Claire Temple Rosario Dawson. Night that, nurse. Night nurse. Yep. They have um, already said in everything that Night Nurse uh, Rosario Dawson's character is the tie-in of all the Marvel Netflix series. She's I'm going, actually really excited about that because I mean she. She helps a lot of superheroes out. So, um, then we're gonna, you know, I think it's also this year. We, was it this year or next year that we're gonna get the Daredevil season two? Uh, I believe uh, it's believe this it, year. I, really? Because I thought it, I thought it was um, I thought it was like early two thousand sixteen. Or well, there's only one way to find out. I'm on Google. Google. Yeah. But. Um, in any case, one, one of the uh, one of the more interesting things that that I've been, I've been finding out about this whole um, series is that each and every one of the people that are now in the Marvel Netflix shows are contractually obligated to show up in any of the Marvel movies if they're if they are needed. Now, do you know how this happened? How Marvel? How Marvel? How Netflix actually landed into such a bountiful project? It's just, they've also signed a contract with Disney, which well, allow, that's which you, you want to take that? It's okay. I see how it is. Well, no, I, the I, one I, thing I was going to elaborate on, besides not only having all the Marvel shows on there, yeah, they're going to be getting the movies and Disney, uh, Marvel movies and Disney movies quicker than Redbox will, and quicker than Amazon too. Yeah. That's that's the exclusive deal, and I think it's fantastic because I mean they're profiting a lot of this. Like if you notice, um, Nickelodeon has a lot of their TV shows on Amazon Prime, as where Disney has a lot of their TV shows. Surprise, surprise, Netflix. Well, and you know if you, and the thing is, is that I love Nickelodeon stuff, especially what they've been doing recently with their shows. But I mean, Disney's a powerhouse, and you know, let's face it. This, this is probably going to be a bigger deal um, than what, what's going on with Amazon. Plus, you know, you with unlike Amazon, what you pay a monthly subscription and then 
there you go. Yeah. With Amazon Prime, you still have to because I, mean, I have I have Amazon Prime, and you know to watch a movie, you still have to you know order it, you know pay you know like two bucks for twenty four hours or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know the thing with uh, like uh, with Amazon, not Amazon, but Netflix, you with pay Amazon, the, you pay the monthly <laughs> subscription and you got everything. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the point I was making. Yeah. Yeah. I'm rereading. Use your words. I don't want to. Last time I used my words, I got married. Last time you used your words, you didn't think. I try not to think. It only hurts my head. There's a difference. But um, yeah, and I'm you know I'm really looking forward to the Jessica Jones stuff. The trailers are fantastic. Um. And you will get to see her use her superpowers, in which I like that idea. I'm I'm more interested to find, like, in you know, and to see exactly where they're going to go with this series, and also, I, I want to know is this going to be Luke Cage uh, before he gets his powers or after he's gotten his powers, and you know he has you know cultivated them into being able to help people. Uh, I I looked yeah. at the. The Wikipedia for Jessica Jones, and it looked like he does have his powers. Okay. Um, yeah. The other thing that's coming up. Uh, well, not the other thing, but the one thing I want to talk about, video game wise. Star Wars. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 sorry, that, that's our next segment. That's, uh, that's, that's our next. Segment. Uh, who here has heard about that game Fallout Four? Which game? Fallout what, what, Four. Oh, well, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, say that one more time. Oh, what? Is, Fallout? Is, 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 it, is it based off the season Fall? Yes, like it is. It's, 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 you know, is it based on leaves just falling off the tree? That's like Fallout? Yeah. Fallout. But here's the thing. Is the, it like parkour? No. Parkour. Here's the thing about... <laughs> here's the thing about the game. This game you, isn't man. even a week old yet. And Bethesda... Yeah. Leaves a lot of the games open, especially if you have them on PC. They leave the source code open so you can have mods in there, and because that actually makes it a more detailed story. That all these mod Thanks. makers get in and just really expand the whole universe. And Bethesda likes that because a lot of times they end up hiring some of these mod makers to work for them. Yeah, yeah. But like I, mean, I said, the fantastic. game is only a few days old. And the pervs have already made the nude mods. <laughs> yes. Scientists <laughs> doing the work of scientists. I'm supposed to be shocked by this. Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> wait, wait, give, give us a second. Say, say, oh, what let me a shock. Let me see that one more time. Okay. Let me see that one more time. So they already made the nude mods. That, yes. Said it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. But... I did, here's one of the things I wanted to talk uh, about with that is also is what the exclusive limited edition collector's edition was. New not box. only did you, not only did you get a copy of the game, you got a freaking Pip Boy. That's pretty cool. Now, yeah. basically, the thing itself didn't do anything. Everything was controlled by the app you downloaded on your phone. Son you, of a bitch. you just slid the the phone into the Pip Boy and get that. Well, here's the thing what GameStop did, which pissed off a lot of people. A lot of people pre-ordered their game through GameStop to get the, you know, the Pit boy GameStop canceled all the pre-orders. <laughs> and uh, this yeah. is the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, I do not shop at GameStop. I, I would say I was surprised, but then I would be lying, so... Um... I mean, I don't know. I, I have very mixed feelings about GameStop because uh, the GameStop that we have in my hometown, um, the people that work there are awesome, super helpful, and just on the ball. But, uh, you know, but one, once you just kind of leave that, it, it just kind of becomes douchey, if that makes any sense. Well... GameStop in itself, and I 
I totally believe in, you know, right to free speech. I believe that GameStop is very, very douchey because a few years back, they actually started charging people extra for um, additional stuff that they got with pre-orders. I don't remember specifically what it was, but I know it was a very, very big thing. And I believe that GameStop has a very, very bad business strategy when it comes to games because, sure, they'll buy your games off of you. They make you give you their information so they can in turn sell it to someone else. That's how you get a little bit more when you're, you know, a little bit more cash when you're returning games. Mm-hmm. That and they only give it, they only give you the extra cash as in store credit. And even then, a lot of the items there, to be honest, are overpriced. Like a PlayStation 4 controller, $70, $75, $80. You can get it online for 50 You can go to Walmart and get a a third party one for 20 bucks. <laughs> Walmart's even worse. Walmart makes crappy things and sells it to you much more expensive Actually, than it should and it treats everyone treats all of their workers have, like crap. We have uh we have three gaming stores in my hometown. One of them is GameStop. The other two are locally owned gaming stores and I'm pretty certain that those are better. Am I right? Oh, uh immensely, but uh, the 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 only problem is, is that they're ran by socially awkward people. <laughs> and again, they're much better. But if you want the service, you go to the you go to the, the to our GameStop. And again, not saying anything that you just said is invalid because you're a hundred percent right. But like these these other gaming stores, they have they're amazing. They have you know they'll have you know Atari's. And just, you know, th- just the weirdest things you can, you know, imagine. But as soon as, like, like a, like a woman walks into the store, like, everything stops. Oh. And they're just kind of like... Oh. And it's then like they've never seen a woman right before. Candice, what happens when you walk into your local GameStop? Uh, nothing. I, uh, people come up and help me. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, like, <laughs> well, I didn't I, think this was an actual. I, seriously, I didn't think that was an actual thing that I've seen in all the web comics and the TV shows where you know the nerds just froze up and couldn't <laughs> handle women, and then th- these stores opened up, and I was like, wow, so this is a thing. Well, well, it, it depends on the nerd because I mean, <laughs> I am a nerd myself, and no. I don't have that problem. Yeah, no, you're a nerd. <laughs> Yeah, Nerd. I know, right? Just, no, but I don't have that problem. I can talk to anybody. Oh. Literally, yeah. I can talk to anybody, like you and me right now. No, what's up, my man? What's up, baby? Yeah, yeah no, I mean, absolutely. I'm just, <laughs> you know, not a problem. It's just, it's just funny because it's, it, 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 the store is just one of these, you know, these weird little like, oh, so that's where the stereotype comes from. Yeah, mm-hmm. huh. I've. I have actually experienced, I've gone to a game store, and it was actually run by socially awkward people, but you know, and, and you all three know me, that I'm I'm a talkative person, I'm, I don't hold no. anything back. That's what? Right. No, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> please. <laughs> Bitch, please. I was in there. Baby, stop it. Stop talking. I was in, stop I was, early, stop talking. <laughs> shut up. I was in there. Girl comes in. You can see the guy behind the counter acting nervous, and she goes up. Can you help me? T-? And he's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> pulls, pulls out his, you know, asthma inhaler. No, that didn't happen. But she's like, what's wrong with him? I was like, he's probably not used to a girl talking to him. And, and so I ended. I don't work there. I ended up helping her. The guy got the sale. She walks out. It's like, how did you be able to talk to women? I'm like, dude, you work in the public. You're going to have to get used to talking to the other sex. What did you do? <laughs> you open your mouth and you let things come out. Doesn't I, have to be words. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, not, uh, let's not get too hasty there. Cause, you know, that's, that's, that's been Trump's problem is that he opens his mouth and lets things come out. But, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, well don't do what Trump there. does and leaves his mouth open for too long. You have to. You have to gauge it. You have to know when to open your mouth and when to fucking close it. I still love. There is a video out there, and it's entitled "Donald Trump 
a drunken frat boy. And <laughs> basically, oh. it's like two basically drunk guys sitting on a porch, and the guy is li- like lip syncing to Donald Trump speeches, and I'm like, <laughs> dear God, it works. This is exactly something you'd hear out of a drunken frat boy. Yeah, it, uh, the, 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 you know, the fact that the, you know, the, the two front, front runners for the GOP have been Donald Trump and Ben Carson, it, it just made me go, well, so, um, then should we just elect, you know, you know, a democratic, you know, emperor? I mean, just, you know, let's just, I know that's yes. not our way. I know it's not our way, but look at the other side. Come on. You got, okay, you got Hillary Clinton, that if she does get the nomination, she'll definitely win because every woman in the world will vote. Oh, I, no. uh, okay, um. Does that include uh, Alan? I, I, told, I told you this, Sean. My, uh, my uncle used to be the uh, Democratic chair of the U.S. during the Clinton administration. Uh-huh. Used to be what now? The Democratic chair for the, uh. The Clinton, uh, the Democratic chair of the Democratic, uh, blah. The Democratic chair during the Clinton administration. So, essentially, he was the leader of the party. When you when you take out the um, the president, the vice president, so on and so forth, like of the party itself, not not the country. And. Um, the, the Clintons are not only grade A douches; they're grade A lying douches. <laughs> yeah. But you know who I you know who I like as a Democrat? Old uh, old Uncle Bernie. Yeah, uh, he's been around yeah. for God knows how long. His views never change. God bless Bernie Sanders, because you know, one I love his I love his political views. I think. They're good. And two, you just want to give him a hug. He he's he's very pro women. He's a he's a feminist himself. He's 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 very into equal rights for women. He's also very equal rights to minorities and all that. Like everybody's you know everybody's equal. And he, he's got the black brown hair. I mean, plus one of the things he said that got me he said we as a nation have the highest per capita people in prison <laughs> and, yeah. and he says it's time we start closing prisons and building schools well also well, just to the fact that most of the most of those prisons are for profit prisons so what you are getting prisons, is, yeah. uh, prison you know people that own these prisons looking at judges and say hey Slide you an extra fifty if you convict this guy. Yeah. Nudge, nudge. Fifty. Wait, wait. Can we make it one fifty? Yeah. One fifty, um, I'll convict. Two for the last one. And the other thing is, he's like decriminal all decriminalization of marijuana. Which exactly. get which there was one I saw. It was a video clip, and you have and it it looked bad. It looked a little racist, but it was also really funny. You had this guy over on Bernie's shoulder, black guy, just sitting there, not paying attention to the speech. You just see him, and it's just like, and he says, we must legalize and decriminalize marijuana. And that guy just looked up like Scooby-Doo looking at Scooby and snacking like, really? <laughs> and it goes, that moment, when you realize, when Bernie realizes you have his vote. Well, you know, the, the thing is, is that, you know, we're, we're suddenly realizing, wait a second, this is something people want, and they're willing to pay for it? Wait a second here. There's a way to make money off of this. I don't know how yet. There's a couple states way out west. They're crazy, but, I mean, Aren't they're they somehow making money off of this. Well, mm-hmm. look, at, look at the girl in Colorado that, uh, uh, really, she... Um, Made a profit kill- selling Girl Scout cookies out in front of a dispensary. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, the, the fact of the matter killing. is, that, hmm? I'm sorry. She made the killing. Yeah, she made a killing, but no, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, is that, uh, you know, 
it would be such a boom to to state economies that th- there are literally no longer an argument for it other than you know or the other side just going no uh <laughs> I mean my mama told me so you're a dumb head it's like you know people saying well it does this well scientists prove it doesn't well, it does this. Well, science has proved this one. Well, God said God was high <laughs> half the time. Uh, Jesus hey, said that we shouldn't be smoking that, weed. You know, Do you know what was in Jesus' Jesus, pipe? Jesus did say that, you know, the, 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 the herbs, plants, and animals of the world were for mankind. I'm just saying. I mean, hey, you're uh, right. Hey, you know, you know they say... Moses went to the burning bush. The bush wasn't on fire. He was just burning some bush. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. wink. In other <laughs> words, the burning bush was in his hand. He looked at it and said, what do you think I should do? Man. You know, you could probably screw with some people if you came up with rules that they had to follow. But what kind of rules? Let's just make some shit up. I yeah. like you. What are we going to do? We're going to ban all the fun stuff. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. <coughs> Listen, it's not that they're banned. They are, there are ways of, you know, you know, quote, slut shaming, unquote, other people that are not them. I mean, c- come on. It's like, let me, did you see those guys over there? I mean, if they were Christians, they could totally murder I mean, I'm doing it right now. But since this guy's a non-believer, uh, everything's good. Every uh, everything everything is kosher. Shit! I didn't mean to say kosher. Oh God, not me! No. <laughs> Just remember, everything is awesome. Yes. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Do you know they're making a sequel to that movie? I know. I'm excited. I mean, damn them for making a sequel. <laughs> well, here's something else that's getting a sequel. Uh, a friend of mine, who's a Twitch streamer, played this game called Life is Strange. Life and is strange. this is a game that beautiful art style. It was a Telltale game. Mm-hmm. All right, okay. Um, beautifully, okay. beautifully animated. And just had this story and characters that you just like, oh, I want to hug you. You're sad. Let me hug you. And then there's points when you realize you have to do something like, okay, I need to stop playing the game and lay down and cry for about three days. This is a game that the ending, I'm not going to give any spoilers for this, that the ending gave you this choice that either one, you're going to cry. Oh, Batman. No, this is bad. Batman. No, didn't you? Batman. No, 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 no. Wait, spoilers. No, 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 there's about 12 guys I'd like to take out back in Old Yeller. Yeah. Can, can we do my Let's ex-wife, see. too? One, Sean. Two, <laughs> Alan. Three, Candace for absolutely hey. last. Yeah. yeah. But, so they decided, you know, this game was popular. The ending wrapped everything up. It was beautiful. Let's make a sequel. Really? Well, you you rip you know, my it, you, you know after the end of this game you rip my heart out, stomped on it, pour salt on it, stomped on it again, ran it over a cheese grater, threw it in some uh, uh you know lemon juice, then put it back into my chest and go here you go. You want to do that to me again? Yep. Why? Well, you, it all depends. I mean, um, I just finished the Telltale games, uh, the Walking Dead, you know, seasons one and two, and you know I I, I can get behind sequels where you know, you're you are essentially continuing the story. You may not be continuing the story with, you know, said character A, B, or C, but continuing that narrative and seeing where it going where it yeah. goes, I think is interesting. 
Yeah, I I will say that um, uh, the the Walking Dead. Oh gosh, the first season. Oh, what you what what Clementine had to do. Oh. You know, I never really watched Walking Dead, so. Yeah. Well, the video game itself did have Easter eggs towards the series. It was from from what I understood, it was more so based off of. Um, the comic books, but yeah, but I, I mean, you met Glenn in it. You had Herschel, his family, and it's just like as it, it was. It very emotionally brought you into a game, and that's how a video game should be. If it's a good story, brings you in, I will play it. Mm-hmm. Um, play the crap out of it, but. One of the things also I want to talk about, I saw this on Reddit about the, you know, people getting delivered their Fallout 4 special editions. And the thing about the um, the Pip-Boy, it came in like a plastic box that looked like, um, you know, like a ammo crate type thing. Oh. And the one that I saw on Reddit was heartbreaking. He says, the UPS driver just delivered this. I'm going to have to file a claim. He opens the box. The box. He. You, you see the box, and the box is slightly dented. Like, okay, there should be enough packing material on the inside to protect it. He opens the box. The plastic case, and it's a pretty decent thick plastic, has a huge chunk missing out of it, where something dropped on it. Oh no. And Sucks to that guy. He said, this is absolutely heartbreaking. But then I also remember some of these videos that came around around Christmas time. It was like either UPS or FedEx drivers. One of these guys takes a brand new flat screen plasma TV, looks at the address, takes it out of the truck, instead of ring, it says ring bell. Doesn't ring bell, chunks the thing over the fence. Ah. And leave. So they they practice, practice the uh, douchebag version of delivering. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But I will say the FedEx drivers around here are pretty nice, especially the one that delivered my beautiful new figure Monday. I'm very very glad that I know my delivery guys. That and my friend works for FedEx, so yeah. <laughs> yeah I I have one of those new Takara figures that just oh came neat. Out. Mm. Candace, Candace will probably hate me. That's probably. Guess when who doesn't I, she hate Guess who you? I have? Who do you have? Who do you have? Who do you have? I have black arachnia. Have? No, it's give it to me now. Of course you do. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm see, I'm I'm scared by these uh the the new um, Takara fembots just, just because, they from what I've been hearing. Especially with the head, they use a lot of clear plastic, and I, I don't have a very good track record with clear plastic. So, oh yeah, <laughs> but, Are you speaking but, from experience. Hmm. I will say, Are you speaking from experience because it sounds yeah. like you're speaking from experience. Because you remember that the when I did the review for the uh, animated Black Arachne, I referred to it as the dominatrix of the Transformers animated because that's what she looked like. <laughs> She's got the, the high heel what boot. she was on the show, but that's besides the point. I mean, when she ties <laughs> them up upside down and talks all seductively to them, you know, for kids. Well, it's, you know, just the same as, you know, let's hire this really, you know, you know, uh, you know, top tier actor to voice Cliff Jumper and then, you know, just gut him. And not, like, cut away when we got him, but just, you know, show him being gutted first episode. Because, you know, kids. Yeah. (laughs) And let's not talk about when you have, in the original series, you have the most beloved voice of the world. Uh, Frank Belker? uh, (laughs) No, I'm talking about Casey Kasem. Uh. And let's, you know, his religion and his ethnicity... Let's make fun of it. 
with the best name of a country. Car- California. Carbomia. Hey. Hey, now. I, that, I, I got, I use Carbomia a lot in, um, while doing uh, improv and whatnot. And it, uh, it's, it's, Carbomia has helped me out a lot, which is why I fully support Carbomia and all their, you know, horrific plans and policies. So you, you like that they have a giant metallic dinosaur walking around the unit? Their yes! <laughs> and, a gu- and a thing that turns into a tanker truck and a plane at the same time? Yeah. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I support Carbomia. But what do you not understand? I support a dictator, okay? The part where you support a dictator, that's well, what I don't understand. Well, the problem is you did take a lot of dick. <laughs> that he did. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. But yes, he's a dictator of an imaginary country. I, hey, I hey, don't see what the problem is here, man. Owen, don't make mm-hmm. me break out the alpaca. Break it out. Break it out. Break it out. Am I the only one chanting? Bring up, up, you know, inside jokes. A time like this is most inappropriate, sir. No, it's not. It's always appropriate. (laughs) Most appropriate. It is most appropriate indeed. No, no, I I won't go in depth with it, but it's, it's an inside joke between me and Owen and our friend Matt. Especially the rabbits as well. And the rabbits. <laughs> yeah, I have this. Don't know why, but yeah, I, I have this reputation for bestiality, which not not really into. But hey, you know, this, we gotta, if, if it makes people so, laugh. So, go, wait, so you're into bestiality? That that's pretty cool. Well, he that, does like beast wars. I, I do like beast wars. Uh, not not into bestiality though. But eh, you know, if it gets a few laughs. I mean, you know, I. You know, I'm a I'm I'm a whore for laughs, so why not? He'll he'll take a rabbit up the ass. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so instead of up the hat, it's up the ass. Okay. Hey, that's, you know that's, what? That's you gotta cool. get your kick somewhere, man. You know, Bugs has gotta go home. <laughs> you, you mean tricks, right? I mean, you know, he definitely took that wrong turn to Albuquerque, I'll tell you. <laughs> Aha! Which was where is he? I'm out. <laughs> Why was it always Albuquerque? Oh, he was predicting where Breaking Bad was going to take place. <laughs> and, you know, that awesome Weird Al Yankovic song. I mean... Yeah. Exactly. Because chicks dig giant robots. Chicks do dig giant robots. And they say that they don't, they're fucking lying to you. <laughs> and to themselves. Well, Candace is calling you a liar. Let's see, Candace. Do you like Do you like giant robots? Mm, yes. It's not like you know someone personally. Who's a giant <laughs> oh, yes, robot. of course I do. I've I've watched the the Transformers and Gundam and all that fun stuff. See, Gundam. Yay, big robots! You You've drooled over Scott McNeil. No. You've probably drooled on him. Probably. Uh-huh. I got, I got, I got actually probably... got really drunk with Scott McNeil. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was a, a night to remember. You know who I, here's, I really remember. Here's something I would love to see, and it's just me being my weird thing. I would love to see Scott McNeil, Peter Cullen, and Frank Welker do karaoke in like all the different voices they do <laughs> so it, so then it would be peter cullen doing optimus prime and then putting the mic down it, no and ironhide you remember he was ironhide oh yeah he, and eeyore which, which was essentially just the redneck version that's right he was eeyore <laughs> <laughs> um, i might have blown don't get me wrong, I love Peter Cullen, and he has a great voice, but he does not have much of a range, if okay. you know what I mean. Okay, instead of Peter Cullen, how about John Bailey? Yeah, John Bailey has, has, a, has a range. I, I would I accept this. 
Or just have Scott McNeil doing all his voices. There's plenty of people up there then. <laughs> <laughs> guy, the guy is the guy is a little uh, out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's just not quite right, but in a, in a very loving and nice way. I mean, he's just he is, he is nice to all his fans, and that's the best thing. Mm-hmm. And that's, oh, yeah. that's the thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I yeah. just I just looked at my Skype balance and it shows more than I had in there. You know what that means? Somebody gave me money. Or I was John. Well, that that or you know you did something for money. Why am I, I... sticky? <laughs> Um, I asked myself that, that is the card the anti humanity card. <laughs> Still one of the best. That, that's a game that really shows the the true inner being of oneself, or as I like to call it, one's true Owen. Well, yeah. what I like to say it is it uh, breaks up relationships because my wife and I have actually broken a relationship like that. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations, it's, it's, sir. Thank um, you. Thank you. I guess. I mean, was, was it one of the... <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to, like, go into it or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you but do. Was, yeah, you do. Was it one of those relationships where you're sitting on the outside looking in going, oh, no. Yeah, that's basically okay. what happened. Good, good for were, you, sir. They, they were only dating for, like, a month, and all of a sudden, like, the horrible side of her was coming out because of the game and she had played before. Mm-hmm. Not to mention she was drinking, and she was just freaking out. I felt bad. Uh, wow, there's a, there's a, um, there's a nice chemical mixture. Yeah. Yep. Drinking well, and Cards Against Humanity. It, that is an amazing way to spend an evening, and uh, which my, my fiance we just found out because we're, we're you know trying right. to you know get a registry up and going. But oh, oh congratulations! Actually, yeah, thank you. But congratulations! Uh, thank you. But uh, th- there are there are. Um, Wedding or was it uh, uh, engagement? Something wedding or engagement uh, expansions to the Cards Against Humanity, yes. which uh, when we saw that 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 got added to the registry, I, I think immediately. So yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I think I nope. I think I figured out what I'm going to get Owen for his wedding. That's that. I'm actually going to give her a shovel and a bag of lye. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, that is the, once again, worst way to get rid of a body. Because the lie leaves so much evidence. What you do is you give her, you know, some kind of, you know, like plane ticket that she could use at any point, any time to come down to Florida. And then, you know, she can just... Bring me along, alive or not, and then you know feed the rest of the body to either the alligators or take it way out to the ocean and just dump it so that the carcass could be fed upon by what whatever's out there. Actually, you know what that sounds like <laughs> actually Dexter. Yeah, yeah, actually there is a place here in the Florida Everglades near a nuclear reactor, a nuclear power plant, that the water is a certain temperature all year round and it has the highest population of not alligators bitches crocodiles <laughs> That's oh it. yes North American crocodile one one of the rarest uh, uh, animals in the Everglades yeah which is apparently it's, it's 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 booming back yeah see I'm not just uh, you know nerd when it comes to pop culture Drink that moonshine. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to be drinking that moonshine anytime soon. <laughs> it's just going to sit there and stare at me. I, I, here's hey hey Alan, this yeah. moonshine he has is what 89, 85, no, it's, uh, 83 proof. I I went to our local Kroger because here in the state of Indiana, you know, buying moonshine is really easy. Um, Same here in Texas. I mean. Yeah. Well, I go to, I, I go to a, a, a liquor store and I get it. Yeah. Well, I went I, like I said, I went to a Kroger's. 
you know, <coughs> grocery store. And I, I, I know what Kroger's is. Uh, I work for uh, your competitor here in Texas. Oh, uh, I, I used <laughs> to work at Kroger. It was a terrible place, but anyway. It's a terrible uh, place. Terrible, terrible place to work. Yes. For those of you who live in Texas, work for H-E-B. Yeah. Go, yeah, go there instead as a former employee of Kroger's. Anyways. Yes. As as a person who's heard horror stories of Kroger, go there instead. Yeah, I, I'm going to show y'all something in chat. What? This weekend. Oh God! Why would you send that to us? <laughs> Wrong link. Sean, I, Sean, I'm flattered, but I still do not want to see your penis. I I Thank I, you. I, I got to share something that happened this weekend. This is where I got my copy of Skyrim, which I basically tweeted tweeted out says I just want Skyrim. Goodbye, sunlight. Goodbye, sunlight. <laughs> um, but uh, two friends of mine who are stre- uh, video game streamers had a little wager going on. Uh, they were taking donations to get to a meetup. If they, if one got to higher than the other, they would have to play a certain video game and record it for their YouTube um, of a game they don't want to play. Well. My friend Grafoniak, hers was if she did if she lost, she has to play Alan Wake. And she hates scary games. Alan Wake is one of those games that will give you several jump scares. My friend my friend Theo the Ape, if he lost he would have to play <laughs> I hear start. He would have to play what was that? <laughs> he would have to play and record one of the Barbie games. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, here's Yay. the thing. Listen to the Barbie song? I, I tweeted him that. I tweeted him that. Um, and it got a bunch of likes. But this image <laughs> I'm going to show you, um, I made, and it says, a match made in hell. And we're going to use this as a thumbnail. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. right. um, hey, Quinn Wasabi. Come on. <laughs> All righty. Bad thing about it, I had to do it in MSN Paint. <laughs> you hack. Well, I don't have Photoshop. Zero out of ten stars. <laughs> I, I don't have Photoshop. Zero. Ten stars. Sir. Zero out of ten would approve. <laughs> Zero out of ten doctors would recommend. But the best thing is, is they tied. So you know what happens so if they tied. Low jobs for all? Nope. <laughs> nope. No. No. They both Damn. have to play the games they hate. Oh, I'm scary. always wrong on these things. Damn it. Well, you tried. I give you that. Uh, Zero out of ten to have you play again. Just for that, we're going to lock you in a room with Tommy Wiseau. Nope. Uh, you know, um, I actually... I don't think that would be a terrible experience, just because <laughs> I would have the opportunity to kill him. I'd be face-to-face. That or he would kill me. Either way, it, he wouldn't be my problem anymore. Okay, sp- now, one of the things that Tommy Wiseau was known for, we we all here know who that guy with the glasses is, or the Nostalgia Critic. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, on his YouTube channel, he reviewed The Room. It was actually on his website. Yeah. Not, not to correct you, it was on his actual website. I thought it was on his YouTube, too. Oh, well, I mean, it was, it's been, it was later put up, but uh, it, the... It was originally just on his website. Okay. He reviewed and gave an honest review of how bad the room was. <clears throat> so what does Tommy Wiseau, Wiseau do? <laughs> Besides sneeze? Well, <laughs> you. Again, it's not <laughs> clear <laughs> if... It, wa- it wasn't clear that was him, but it, it's like 99% probably him. Got his lawyers involved. Supposedly, uh, the, they couldn't find any. They couldn't find any information about the 
the the the lawyer firm that was contacting them or any information on the lawyer that was supposedly contacting them. So it was probably Tommy getting all butt hurt about it, but <laughs> besides the point. Yeah. Well, you know, he had was told to take it down. Well, something like that happened earlier last week. There's a YouTube channel called I Hate Everything. And he has his video series called In Search of the Worst, where he watches the worst movies out there and gives a critic critique about it. Which falls under Fair Use Act. Right? If you read well, what the Fair Use Act is, is you can Well, I mean, unless you're on YouTube, then that doesn't count. Well, that's what happened. But it wasn't the production company that did it. He did this uh, video movie called Cool Cat Saves the Kids, which is the, mm -hmm. a most horrific movie ever. But even mm -hmm. goes to saying some positive things about it, says that it's so terrible, it's campy and enjoyable. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The guy who created the movie, uh, Derek Savage... Ordered the movie, ta the video taken down. Went through YouTube, filed a third-party complaint. Somebody actually went to Twitter and said something about it, and he was quoted. They don't know if it was him or a fake account saying, "If he puts it again, I will take down his whole damn channel." Well, you know, well, you gotta understand with uh, with uh, the whole YouTube thing is that I, I don't know how many people are familiar with. Uh, using doing YouTube videos that have uh, content that's not your own and whatnot. Um, te technically, by law, and do the fair use and uh, as well as parody practices. By technically by the law, you are protected, but YouTube doesn't really care because they would actually these powerful people that usually contact them say i am hurting because of my butt um that this is up so this hurts yeah someone exactly says, someone said the truth and i don't want it to be known yeah exactly yeah so they, they usually you. file these claims and since youtube doesn't want to deal with it they usually just take it down and you know the majority of people don't follow up and then th that's what happens. Or you know, some of my my really old uh, YouTube videos that I, that I did, they'll they'll take the audio out. So was it the uh, which videos were that? Uh, they were, um, you know, I think they were. Toy, I think there were toy reviews that I did. Where I, I had used what I thought was appropriate music for each character, but uh, there there are a couple of uh, Transformer reviews. But yeah, anyways, besides that's besides the point. The point the point is is that people that that uh, you know do these type of things are usually douchebags. Yeah, douchey should, McDouchers. and they should die from it. Yep. Because, I mean, let's be honest, slamming somebody else's opinion is reserved for the comment sections of YouTube. Yep. Let's, come on. I agree to that. I agree to that very, very strongly. Like, you uh -huh. have no right to, just because your butt was hurt, take something down because yeah. you think that you are so hard in your project that it deserves better recognition. If you develop shit, you're getting shit. What you see is what you get. Yeah, you know it's uh, it's it's like the Yuval Ball, um, which I, I have this very very strange love for Yuval Ball, not because anything he's ever done was good by any stretch uh, stretch of the imagination. It's mo mostly just because he throws the biggest tantrums when people say, "Hey." You've, um, your movies suck, man. Screw you. Meet me outside and we'll have a fist fight. It's like, it's like, it's, it's just, it's, 
magical. Was, was the accent intentional, or is that just you just kind of having a brain fart? The, the, the accent was, was was both. Okay. Because he has such a weird German accent that it's not just da da. It's just. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's like his his accent is like if a German had sex with Tommy Wiseau, whoa! Then they, then they then took that baby and dropped it on its head a couple of times. That, that's I'm the voice. I didn't say Willem Dafoe. I love Willem Dafoe. Um. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There was something else I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to remember what it was. Well, he does that. Is anyone else excited for Marvel? Oh! Better yet, just, let's just get Marvel. We've already had enough about Marvel. Actually, no. Marvel. Did you hear what was... Uh, there is a picture out there of Benedict Cumberbatch on the set... I am very excited. Are you of excited? Doctor Strange. And we were. I was, wondering, I was talking to a friend of mine. Wondering how are they going to do this to make sure it's fitting in with the story for the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I thought, well, you can't really do an origin story if you want it to fit in the timeline. What they're showing is actually going to be an origin story. So it will probably show him as the uh, Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. I'm excited, though. I mean, granted, I've only read a few of the comics. But either way, I'm already hooked onto Doctor Strange. I love the comic base of everything. I love the character, the character development. Like, if, if any of you actually followed my words and read, like, the oath, you will learn a lot about Strange just through there. It's fantastic. Now, now Owen, I'm, I want to tell you something about Alan. Yeah? I warned him about a certain Spider-Man series, and he wouldn't heed my warning. No, no, it was the next, like, in the actual thing that I was reading. Guess what series? There's so many really Brand bad... Brand new day. Huh? I actually... One I actually, more day. One, one more day? day. Oh, you, you poor thing. <laughs> fucking butthurt about it. Dude. Not only that, I just finished that, that portion of Ama- Amazing Spider-Man. It's not, I'm like, Superior Spider-Man. Fucking what the hell happened? You know, um, did that like did that really? For those of you who don't know, I don't want to spoil it too much. But let's just say that Peter Parker died. Oh yeah, I mean, it, see, honestly, that didn't bother me at all. But one more day bothered me because I liked, I really much liked the direction they were going with Peter Parker at that time. Where yeah, people knew who he was and him dealing with that. It's like him, him dealing with the mistakes that he made during the Civil War. I was very much. Looking forward to Joe I was like, I can't have that. Although, uh, one thing I do know is that they're actually using Miles Morales for um, the our Civil War. For the yeah. uh, MCU. Uh, no, it's not no, Miles no, Morales. No, no, um, it's not? No. No, it, it, they, they casted a white dude for that. Oh, did they? Oh, forget yeah, I was, I was, I was pretty sad by that, but... Oh. Oh, well. But, I would love to see an actual like representation well, of this. Here, of, here's yeah. one of the things I've said about bringing Miles Morales in the cinematic universe. They can't just go, okay, here he is. They That's have true. to build it in. Because they have if, to kill Peter if, Parker. Yeah, if they made a Spider-Man movie with Miles Morales, your Joe Schmo movie Spider-Man fan wouldn't know who he is, and it wouldn't put people's butts in the se- seats. That's it, must, true. It, must, it must be fair. I mean, with as much hate as Star Wars has been getting for having a black guy in it, can you imagine? Oh my God! Calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah, I know, but can you imagine the outcry and rage there would be if they had black Spider-Man? I mean, we're, we're crying well, out loud. I, I, I have a response to that. Read the comic book. For those of you who don't know, Miles Morales is the next Spider-Man. In the Ultimate Universe, because Peter Parker dies. Yeah, but that means... Read yeah. the comic series. I yeah, read those but, nine, ten but, comics. My God, never have cried up, Sweetheart, darling, you're you're expecting people to read. And 99% of the time, the people that are, are bitching about, you know, color of characters, they're not smart enough to do that. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. 
Or if just not. If you are a listener and you don't read, get out. If you joking? Please don't leave. Don't leave. Support us on Patreon. Uh, yeah, so support them on Patreon. Can I have my ten dollars back, please? No. Damn Ask it. us again, and I will fire you out of a rocket into the sun. Ah, <laughs> eh, could be fun. But Actually, won't. we'll fire you out of a rocket or out of a cannon into an AA meeting. Ha <laughs> ha! AA's for quitters. <laughs> <laughs> I like that response. AA's for quitters. But yeah, no. Um, actually, in all seriousness, I, I'm joking. Uh, AA is a, is a wonderful organization and whatnot, so... Like, Later. please, anyone that's listening, uh, don't don't get offended. That was purely a joke. Yeah, please, please don't don't call your lawyer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's just like you know, I, I don't want to get you Same. guys in trouble because it's it's, you know, it's, gonna, it's gonna come back and burn you guys. I'll completely G H T E R. I think it's German or something. But but. On th- but on that note, people, I think it's about time to wrap up this episode of the Geek Talk Podcast. Not done yet. I said it's about time we wrap up this episode of the Geek Talk Podcast. <laughs> we are uh, Star right. Wars. You want to talk about but, Star but, Wars? But, but, but. It was a movie that happened a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. There, we <laughs> talked about Star that. Wars is great. Yeah. Star, Star Wars, Wars is, is going to be awesome. Buy your tickets now. Yeah. Speaking of which, speaking of which, before we do, okay, one other thing. When the first trailer hit and everybody's like, okay, you can go get your tickets now, they broke Fandango. Fandango crashed in a lot of places. For those of you who don't know, if several computers go to one server or a cluster of servers to get information, you will crash it. And the server's like, I, 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 I quit. Although, I do have to admit, (laughs) Fandango should have expected that. And they could have easily prevented yeah. the website from crashing. I mean, how many millions of Star Wars fans are there? My wife know. and I are Star Wars fans. But Our son is know. going to be a Star Wars fan. Any other children we have are going to be Star Wars fans. And I am damn well certain that my son's wife and her husband will be a Star Wars fan. Um, my, my fiance, we already random. have her taken. So well, we're, here, we're, here's the we're thing. Sad. Yes. When Fandango crashed... There was disturbance felt in the force of a million people crying out at once, and then suddenly, silence. You fucked it up. <laughs> you, you, you. Uh, uh, I get it. I see what you did there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On that note, people, we're going to go ahead and call it a night for the Geek Talk podcast. I've been your host, Sean, with Alan and Candace, and our special guest, Owen. Like I said at the beginning of the show, if you want to join us for an episode of the Geek Talk Podcast to promote anything you want, to, maybe if you want to come on here and sing a song, that's not copyrighted, we will <laughs> gladly have you on if you're a $10 Patreon supporter, which the links will be down in the description below. Anybody want to say anything before we head out? Uh, once once my, uh, my, my comics come out, you guys are going to you know whore them out, right? We will whore. Yes. Okay. Cool. And cool. one other thing before we listen go. to the Geek Talk podcast, then. On another note, before we go, if you want a T Blocks subscription, which is T Blocks, is a paid subscription service of nine ninety nine a month, you get T shirts, comics, stickers, buttons, posters for your favorite geeky theme for nine dollars and ninety nine cents a month. Below will be a link to the website and use the coupon code Sean Smith for 15% off your first order. If you click that link, good things will happen. Yes, good things will indeed happen. On that note, I'm I'm Sean for Alex, Candace, and Owen. Thank you for listening to the Geek Alex. Talk. <laughs> Alex? Yes, you're, that's your new name. Alex? Alex Trebek. Alex is a bane of my existence. Okay, for Alan! Thank you. Candace and Owen, you've been listening to the Geek Talk Podcast, the, the home with you. for everything geeky 
and good. And let There's the no sports way. be with you. <laughs> yes. But... Also, I do want to say one more thing. The only people who have never seen Star Wars are the people who live Star Wars. Really? Yes. You wanted to make that joke of the last thing we did. Yes. Oh.